What should I call this video? Goofing around with the yo I think we got this string right. What's going on guys? I want to show you a little bit uh, about my yo-yoing. Uh, show you a few yo-yos, show you what I like. I like fixed axle yo-yo the best. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, this is a fixed axle yo-yo, which is exactly as it sounds. This is take apart. I mean, you can screw it and unscrew it. I gravitate more towards fixed axle because I've been playing since I was like seven years old on something just like this, a wooden yo-yo. Um, most of mine didn't come apart and most of mine were not butterfly shaped. In fact, I got one of my earlier ones right here. Oh, this is what you know is a yo-yo, something you can throw down, it'll sleep for a little bit, and you pull your hand up and it comes back to your hand. That's what most people know. You can do your breakaway all the way over, do your loops. Right, I got my string set up a little loose. Let's tighten it up, do a little sidewinder, get it out. So now it's tight, now I can do my loops. Right, I don't want to hit my coffee table here. And I can do loops like that. That's what most people know a yo-yo as. Um, let me show you real quick before we really get into it. Uh, the modern day yo-yos are mostly all butterfly shaped. I don't know how well you can see this. This is like a competition yo-yo. Um, they can range anywhere from $50 on up to $170 to $300 to $600 if you want an all titanium. Um, the best of the best is six, dollars $700. But it's way out of my um, skill level. Uh, even this probably is. This is about $160. All competition made by one drop format. So you can see the bearing in there. Um, Anyways, if you guys ever like see any kind of crazy yo-yoing on YouTube or anywhere, it's probably done on an unresponsive yo-yo. Most of them are made out of aluminum, and you see they go down, they don't come back up when you pull on the string. And I like these. I mean, there's cool tricks you could do. I miss that. I miss that. So let's come down, down, up, back in your hand. Right, so modern day is cool. Miss that. It's only because I'm on a camera here. And there's a, a modern day aluminum. They can stay down anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes. They're cool, um, and I do like playing with them, so I, I've got a bunch. But my preferred style that I really like is fixed axle. So again, like we were talking about, some of these do come apart, not all of them, um, but now the modern day no job, they used to look like this. This These were out in the 60s, I believe. They're one of the first take apart wooden yo-yos. Um, they were this shape, and you could flip them over so they were like butterfly shape. I like the stall. The stall, here's a breakaway, here's a stall. The yo-yo is completely stopped. I can flick it back down, pull it back up. Um, and of course, if I'm on camera trying to show you guys what's up, it's gonna mess up. See, I stalled it underneath, stalled it on top, under, messed up again. All right, let me just go full speed because if I'm talking and all that, you set a sidewinder to a catch right there, and then I can flick it back out, come back forward, back out. So that's why I like fixed axle because you still do all your loops. If I was down, you could still shoot your moon, right? You can do a trick into the shoot the moon, right? Um, so, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. 
I'm trying to concentrate on this. Let's just give you a little demo of what's possible with a fixed axle. And I'm not the best, but it is my uh, preferred playstyle. So you might see um, some things that you've never seen before. I don't know if you hadn't seen any of this stuff. What I was trying to do is stall it underneath and throw it back up to a hand balance. Come down, catch it like that, come back out, loop it back out into a catch. So uh, there's lots of little combos like that. Let's tighten up the string again. You can also do your loops. See what's going on there? Stall, flip it out, come back down and out. You could go like this, come down. Try to catch it on that. Anyways, maybe you can see where I was going with that combo. Um, I feel like I'm talking too much and not showing you enough cool stuff. Let's just get into the cool stuff. A little bit, a little bit crazy. Do one more. There it was. Loosen up the string by doing a few loops. All you old school yo-yo players will know what I'm talking about. Inside the hand loops, we'll loosen up your string. You want a loose string so it doesn't grab that axle so hard. And I'll show you some other tricks that you can do. So now my string's a little bit looser. Let's get a little bit looser now. There you go. So now it'll sleep a little bit longer. But still come up when I tug my hand. Let me show you. So I stall up. And now I'm going to try to jump it out from a stall onto the top string. That might be too hard of a trick to show you guys on camera. I was going to try to catch it, flip it around. What should I call this video? Gooping around with the yo-yo? Strings a little too tight. That's fun though. Like I could do most of this with a stock Duncan butterfly right from Walmart, right out of the package. Um, here's what you can practice. I'll do another um, few videos if you guys want it. It's not knife related or anything, but still kind of cool. So you can practice that. Okay, there's your homework. Get your butterfly, fix the axle yo-yo, and practice that little breakaway throw. And you'll come down and catch it. Practice your loops. And go overhand, right? Um, practice that stall. All that is is like a trapeze. You can come underneath and do an underneath stall. Flick it back out. But again, I think you guys get the point. Can you see the totally different feel in fixed axle? You've got a yo-yo that actually goes up and down like it's supposed to. So anyways, there is an endless possibility of stuff you can do, and especially with fixed axle, 
there's so much unexplored territory that you could come up with something new, something cool. Let's try a kick clip. Do some Eli hop stalls. Double kick flip. That was a single. Hold on. We'll get it. Here's it. Eli Hop Stall. My strings a little bit too tight. It's what it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Get you a no jive. They're like $35 to $40. This is the best yo yo money can buy, as far as I'm concerned. They're making them again, they're not hard to get. Make sure you get some cotton string. Get type 10 cotton if you want to play around with fixed axle. And also make sure it is a butterfly shaped yo yo. <laughs> That's done.